Today, the urban-rural divide in China is strikingly stark, illustrating a profound disparity in income and living standards across the country. For example, workers in Shanghai, one of China's most prosperous cities, earn approximately 12 times more than their counterparts in rural Gansu, a province with significantly lower income levels. This dramatic contrast not only underscores the economic chasm between urban and rural areas, but also highlights the broader issue of uneven development across the country. While Shanghai and other major cities are bustling with high-tech industries, luxury apartments, and a vibrant economy, rural areas like Gansu lag far behind, grappling with lower wages and fewer economic opportunities. This divide is even more pronounced than similar disparities found in Western countries, making China's urban-rural gap one of the widest globally. So, in today's video, let's take a look into the unequal society of modern China. While cities like Shanghai and Beijing shine with economic prosperity and cutting-edge technology, the reality for most of China is quite different. Despite the high-tech image of these bustling cities, around two-thirds of China's population, about 900 million people, live in rural areas. These individuals often work on small family farms and have lower education levels. They earn less than 2,000 yuan a month, which is about $200. Highlighting the significant economic struggles they face, the Rural Urban Transformation Degree (RUTD) measures how much different regions have urbanized and developed over time. Data from 1990 to 2020 shows a clear divide, largely influenced by the Hu Line, which separates the more developed eastern regions from the less developed western parts. By 2020, cities like Macau, Shanghai, and Beijing had the highest RUTD scores. Indicating high levels of urbanization and economic development. In contrast, Western regions such as Tibet, Inner Mongolia, and Xinjiang had much lower RUTD scores, showing they are less developed and more rural. Even within the more developed eastern regions, areas with challenging geography or traditional farming practices still show low RUTD values. This stark contrast highlights the gap between China's vibrant cities and its widespread rural poverty. While the world may picture a China filled with high-tech industries and modern lifestyles, most of its people live in rural areas with limited access to these benefits. China's economic landscape is deeply marked by income inequality, which becomes clear when we look at various measures of disparity. One key metric is the Gini coefficient, which ranges from zero to one. Where zero means perfect equality, and one means extreme inequality. Official figures from China's National Bureau of Statistics (NBS) place the Gini coefficient around 0.46, suggesting significant inequality. However, independent estimates, which consider more factors, push this number up to 0.57, indicating an even greater disparity than officially reported. To put this into perspective. Countries like Germany, Canada, and Japan have Gini coefficients slightly above 0.3, reflecting more balanced income distributions. Even the U.S., known for its own income gaps, has a lower Gini coefficient than China, highlighting just how severe China's inequality is. China's income inequality is largely driven by the sharp contrast between its wealthy urban centers and its struggling rural areas. Cities like Shanghai and Beijing are thriving with wealth and technology. While rural regions lag significantly behind, this divide is compounded by shifting employment trends. Although fewer people are working in agriculture, they're not necessarily moving into industrial jobs. Instead, the service sector is growing the fastest, a trend that mirrors challenges faced by other middle-income countries. Recent economic disruptions, including the impact of COVID-19 and increased automation, have further intensified these issues. The pandemic led to widespread job losses and economic instability, complicating efforts to achieve growth targets. Automation and robotics are also changing the job market, potentially displacing workers and underscoring the need for better social safety nets. Economic inequality in China saw a significant rise. Following the landmark reforms initiated by Deng Xiaoping in the late 1970s and early 1980s, 
These reforms marked a pivotal shift from a centrally planned economy to a more market-oriented one, sparking a transformation that would reshape China's economic landscape. Deng's policies unleashed a wave of rapid economic growth as China embraced elements of capitalism, attracted foreign investment, and expanded its industrial base. However, this economic boom came with a cost. The gap between rich and poor began to widen, and the urban-rural divide became more pronounced. While cities flourished with new opportunities and rising wealth, rural areas lagged behind, struggling to keep pace with the changes sweeping across the nation. One major driver of inequality in China is the hukou system, a household registration system introduced in the 1950s. This system effectively locks people into their place of residence, dividing them into urban or rural categories. For those living in rural areas, this means restricted access to crucial social services like healthcare, education, and social security when they move to cities. Rural workers seeking better opportunities in urban areas often find themselves cut off from these benefits, deepening the gap between city dwellers and those living in the countryside. Efforts to reform or abolish the hookah system have faced strong resistance. Urban middle-class residents worry that removing the system might overload their access to public services, while local governments depend on it to control resources and manage migration. This resistance underscores the tangled web of economic, social, and political factors that make it difficult to address China's deep-rooted inequality. The deep-seated poverty and low wages in rural areas have significant repercussions for China's domestic economy. The disparity in income levels between urban and rural populations contributes to weak domestic demand, which is a crucial driver of economic growth. When a substantial portion of the population earns so little, their spending power diminishes, limiting their ability to purchase goods and services. This creates a ripple effect throughout the economy, stifling overall consumption and dampening economic activity. The lack of robust domestic demand makes it challenging for China to sustain its growth trajectory and shift towards a consumption-driven economy. China's economic rise from low to middle income has been impressive, but the country now faces a significant challenge, the middle income trap. This happens when a nation struggles to move beyond middle income status due to various obstacles. One major hurdle for China is its large population of undereducated rural workers. In 2015, only 30% of the labor force had a high school diploma, showing a big gap in education between urban and rural areas. This educational gap makes it harder for China to advance to high-income status. To become a high-income economy, a country needs a skilled and educated workforce capable of driving advanced industries and technology. Without major improvements in education and skills, China risks getting stuck in middle-income status, unable to reach the next level of economic development. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP, faces a tough challenge tackling deep inequalities while keeping the economy growing and stable. They need to balance the needs of thriving urban areas with the struggles of poorer rural regions. It's not just about improving living conditions. It's crucial for ensuring China's long-term success. Most of China's economic growth has been in cities, so spreading these benefits to rural areas is essential. The CCP must address the urban-rural divide to avoid getting stuck in the middle-income trap. Key steps include reforming the hookah system, boosting education in rural areas, and increasing domestic consumption. How well the CCP manages these issues will shape China's future prosperity and stability. If they can bridge the gap between urban and rural areas, they'll set the stage for a more balanced and successful economy. And with that, I will end the video. This is Visionomics, signing out.